Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and we are starting today on our Decluttering with Purpose series here in the Master Bedroom, more specifically the Master Bedroom Closet. I am on a mission to reduce the amount of stuff in my home by 25%, and I'm starting here in the closet where there is a lot of things that need to go. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So this is what my closet looks like right now. As you can see, it's not tremendously disorganized and I think that is pretty reflective of what a lot of our closets look like. So there's not really going to be like this huge transformation. I'm really looking to make it more functional, to make it easier to find things and put away things and just to reduce what I have. So let's take a quick tour of this space. Along the top of the closet, I have a shelf that runs the full length of the closet and around the corner. It holds bins of memorabilia like over the last 30 years. I have a box for each one of my kids and one of those boxes actually hold my wedding gown. In these two large boxes here, I have shirts from every activities that my four kids have been involved in from elementary school all the way through college. So my hope is to one day make them quilt using all of these t-shirts, but for now that's a project for another day. Down below is where the majority of our everyday clothing lives. These are the pieces that we pull from on the daily. All formal wear like my cocktail dresses and my husband's suits are kept in another closet. One of my favorite parts about my closet is this wall right here where my husband installed three sets of cubed organizers that we just found at Target. I'll leave links to them down below for you. Now this has proven to be such an excellent use of space. I have been able to organize most of my casual clothing like sweatshirts and pajama pants. The only problem is that these bins are getting really full. I have run out of space in some of them and it has become a little difficult to find what I'm looking for. So it is time to go through these bins. I know that there are a bunch of things I'm ready to let go of and donate so that someone can get better use of them. I also have two spaces that I need to find solutions for here in the closet, one of which is what to do with my handbags. Now, I'm the kind of person that changes out their bag at least once a month, if not with every outfit or every event that I go to. So I have a bunch of bags that I reach for all the time. The system that I have here is totally not working. They're spilling out onto the floor. I do keep them in their dust bags to keep them in as good a shape as possible, but I need to come up with a solution because I do switch them out quite often. I need to find something that I can get to easily and that is not a hassle to put bags in and out of. I also need to find a solution for my boots. I have them piled up here in the corner and it just looks horrible. Now I have tried the pool noodle method to keep them standing upright, but you know, honestly, I think it even looked messier. So since I do wear them quite often, I need to come up with a solution where I can get to them easily and I can find what I'm looking for and get out the door. So that's our project for today. We're gonna to go through all of these clothes, donate as much as I can, and organize this whole space to make it more functional. I have myself all set up with a large basket for the clothes that I want to donate. I have a black trash bag here for the things that are just not donatable. I also have my wardrobe checklist that was part of the declutter printable set that I made available to you in the last video. I will have links to those printables again in the description box down below. With everything in this closet, we're going to ask ourselves, does it fit, do I love it, and do I wear it? If the answer is no to any of those questions, it's gone. So we are ready to go and there is nothing to it but to do it. Going through the bins, I came across a few pieces that I was not sure about. I love them, they fit, but I really didn't wear them all that often. So I decided to put them aside, place them in a bin under the bed, and if I didn't reach for them over the next six months, I was gonna let them go. There has only been one item in all the years that I have been donating clothes that I was sorry that I ever got rid of, and that was my purple leather jacket from the 80s, which I so wish I still had just for memory's sake. 
One of the many reasons why I like a bin system for your closet is that it is so easy to label your bins as to what's inside. It makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for and to put away things on laundry day. I like to use tags like this that hang on the front of your bin to label what's inside. I found these at Target, but there are so many different ones to choose from. You can find so many on Amazon. I'll leave some links down below for you. Now you can just use a marker to write right on the tag. You can use your Cricut to make really fancy tags, or you can just use your label maker like this one to just print out a label and hang it on your bin. I was able to make quite a difference in these bins. I was able to pull out and donate a bag full of things. I even have an empty bin right here. And this is our little tag that we're gonna hang right on our sweater bin. So I know where to go for my sweaters, which I have a ton of room in, as you can see. So I really love a bin system for this purpose. I think that it makes a huge difference in what you can store in your closet. And it really makes a huge difference as to keeping it organized and neat. Next up, we are gonna be addressing the whole handbag situation. I know I wanna pick out a few of the most reach for bags to hang on the hooks here so they're like at my fingertips. And I do think that I may have found a great solution for storing the rest of them. So I took a little time to go through the bags that I had and I wanted to decide on like five bags to keep in the closet hung on the hooks. And I came up with these five. I have two larger kind of shopping bags here. I have this mustard yellow colored one, this olive green one. I chose this navy bag because, you know, navy goes with, um, you know, just about anything. And then I chose two crossbody bags, which I wear so often when I'm just like running out. I have this black bag that I wear when I get a little bit more dressed up. And then I just have this little bag that I grab. It just kind of holds your wallet, you know, and your phone. The rest of the bags I am going to be storing in these cubes. I love these things. I found them on um, QVC. They're by a company called Peria and they come in all different sizes. I like them so much because they have like this big zippered compartment that opens up nice and big so it's really easy to get things in there and pull them out. I love that it has a big window that you can also open with a zipper. And then what I really like is that they are nice and sturdy containers. They have these wire frames in here that really do keep it square so that you can stack these on top of each other. These cubes are the perfect solution for my boots as well. I love the fact that I can stack them on top of each other, but they still have that front facing zippered window that you can easily see what you have and be able to reach for it without unstacking everything. I was able to stack both of those bins here in the corner of my closet. I really do think this is such a perfect solution. They have the window up front so I can know what's inside. The zipper is right there that I can just unzip, take out what I need without even having to unstack the bins. Those handbag that I left out I have hung right there on my hooks in the perfect spot when I need to just grab them and go. So now we have come to the part of the project that I have been dreading the most, and that is going through all of these hung clothes. And I know the rule of organizing is that you take everything out of the closet, go through it, and then put it all back. Now that sounds like a nightmare to me. So we are going to take things down in sections, go through them, decide what I'm going to donate, what I'm going to keep, and then we will put everything back up and then move on to the other section.
Although it took a little bit of time, making the decisions whether to keep or donate button downs and pants was pretty easy for me. Pants are pretty simple. They either fit or they don't. Anything that was uncomfortable went right to donation. I kept quite a few of my button downs. The ones that were just a little bit worn, I can just wear under my crew neck sweaters and I kept most of my cozy flannel shirts. There's a big difference in this section of my closet. I was able to let go of quite a few button downs. You know, I still have a great collection all the way from white to denim to plaid and solids in the back. And like I said, you know, the pants were a very easy decision for me. I am so past the age where I want to wear jeans that are just too tight. Now behind the pants is an embarrassing amount of jean jackets in a multitude of colors, but you know, I love them. I wear them all the time and I did marry a Jersey boy and a denim jacket is the state uniform. The last section that we have left to do are my dresses. Now this section is going to be a little hard for me because I love dresses. I wore one every day for over a decade to school and it's just gonna be a little hard to let some of these go. I've been holding on to them thinking that I will head back to the classroom one of these days, but honestly, I think that ship has sailed and I am moving on to other things. So it will be good to let some of these pieces go to make room in my closet for something new. And you you know, dresses are one of those items that are so important to donate because so many women starting a career have a hard time building their work wardrobe and are always looking for dresses and business type clothing. So I still have a really good collection of dresses left to choose from for those days when I substitute teach or just to wear out for the day. Now I've moved my sundresses to a different closet because it is just a few short weeks out of the year that I wear those and I really don't think I need them in my bedroom closet. So my closet is all done. It wasn't as painful as I was afraid it was going to be. I went through a lot of clothes today and I was happy that the decisions were as easy as they were to make. I think oftentimes when doing a big project like this, you really just have to be in the right mindset at the time. I think you have to be ready to make a change and I think it has to be a decision that you come to on your own. It just makes the whole process so much easier. I was able to donate five bags full of clothing and I feel really good about that because the clothes I am donating are in very good shape they are good quality and they have a lot of years of wear ahead of them I'm really happy that I have made so much space in this closet it feels like everything can breathe a little bit and I don't feel the need to rush out and buy anything for myself I am instituting a buy something new, have to let go of something system to avoid overpacking this closet again. You know, I have several more segments of this series coming up in the weeks ahead, so stay tuned. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope this video gave you some inspiration to tackle your own closet, go through your clothes and make some space. Check the description box down below for some decluttering printables to help you along the way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what organizing project you are working on right now. I hope you will join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.